Hey, good morning, traders. Okay, so what's on the agenda today? First of all, uh, let's do our bluff bottom line up front. Big change to my subscription service. I'm no longer going to do the separation thing uh, where founding members get all my trade alerts and paid subscribers get something else and free subscribers get something else. Um, guys, that's too much work for me. So I only do this as a hobby. What I love to do is trading. I've had to step back and reevaluate what I'm doing here with the subscription service. And really, I don't want to get into another business model. All right. What I do well is trading and that's the way I make my money. So what I've done with my subscription service is if you are a paid member, you get all the trade alerts. All right. Every time I trade in and out of a position, you'll know exactly what that position is how much of my portfolio I've designated for that specific trade. When I exit all the details, you can just trade along with me if you're a paid subscriber. If you're a free subscriber, you'll get all of this content and more. I'm no longer going to be um, uh, hesitant about releasing certain bits of information. I'm just, you know, my goal here is to help crypto traders, all right, and help traders in specific uh, learn technical analysis. Not that I'm the best at it. I'm not saying that at all. But I know a few things that I think can help traders out. I'm able to analyze these markets well and pre predict uh, future price action. And that is my overall goal is to help people not only trade and trade in the crypto space, but also welcome crypto as uh our future because i do believe that it has the power to immensely change a lot of the old uh structures financial structures that we had in place that uh benefited people at the top and not everybody and i think uh, crypto has the potential and the power to benefit everybody if we uh if we utilize this and do this thing right all right so that is it i'm just going to sit here and do these videos and trade and if you want to trade along with me it's simple become a paid subscriber if you want to get every post still subscribe to my sub stack you'll get every trade alert at least you'll be notified when i trade um, the the paid members will get the details on that specific trade how much I have allocated, what position I'm entering, when I exit, all of that stuff. All right. Um, so that's the big change. All right. Today, uh, my sentiment overall is still unchanged. However, I will say, so So I'm slightly uh, bearish at the moment. I will say we are nearing a bottom. Um, and I think we may find a bottom at least in the crypto space by the end of December. So timing is important here. I've explained in other videos why I think that is the case. I do believe we have, because we have institutional investors in this market, hedge funds, etc. we have a lot of profit taken going on during the month of December. And after December runs, then we have January. And what happens in January? portfolio reallocation, right? Everybody wants to look good. So you may even have uh, reallocation uh, within the crypto space. So those fund managers that had, um, for example, Bitcoin in their portfolio this year, maybe they want to switch it over to Ethereum because Ethereum looks like it's taking over uh, in terms of uh, best profit ratio. Um, and Bitcoin will still do well, but uh, Ethereum is definitely looking strong. All right, so that is my overall sentiment. Now let's do a quick run through the charts. I'm gonna start with the indexes. We reviewed this yesterday. And guys, I didn't mean to be too down on the uh, stock market yesterday. What I meant by lackluster performance is once we got to this previous body high here, uh, the bulls ran out of steam. And I expected yesterday, and the market hasn't opened yet, I still expect that we will not conquer this previous high uh, here on the Dow and close above this. Likewise, we have the NASDAQ previous high up here. I don't think we're going to get up here. All right. And SPY. All right. SPY. We have almost touched that previous high. Not quite. Again, we ran out of steam once we got up there. 
the question today on all these indexes is will we conquer that previous high or will we come back down and uh, look to test our support? Of course, the, uh, the Dow has broken below that. And what I said yesterday is I wouldn't be surprised if we close a candle here at least maybe today or at least this week uh, below this support line. All right. Over to the crypto space, our crypto leaders, where am I right here? All right, so Bitcoin dominance is falling to that 40%. Bitcoin itself, bear flag, I do believe that will come back, at least touch the 200. Potentially, uh, though there is a lot of volume here, um, it would surprise me actually if we get through the 200 and all of this volume here. Let me put a, you guys see the yellow line, right? That's my, my VPVR is indicating, at least on this zoom level, that is where all our volume exists. And so we really have to push to get through that. Let's jump over and take a look at our fear index. Fear index is moving up. We might have one more fear campaign, move us back down to the 20 mark. At which point, if we got back down there, prime buying opportunity let me get rid of that ad for you i thought i did that again huh anyways all right um let's skip the totals today let's look at ethereum as i said ethereum is looking stronger why because we are way above the 200 day we're above this neckline we're above uh re previous resistance now support and we're fighting to get above the 200 day as well all right, so we have three positive uh, positives below us, actually four, because there is a big support here as well. Um, and currently we're also wrestling with that 50 day. All right, now we're gonna do a quick run through on the altcoins, and we're gonna see pretty much the same patterns on all of these altcoins. You see a bear flag there on SHIB, right? You guys see that? I'll outline it once and you'll see this pattern repeated on almost all of them that is a bear flag against uh, i think that uh, falls in conjunction with our leader bitcoin and we are seeing um bear flag on bitcoin as well again we are nearing a bottom guys so i am going to be looking closely and uh, you know it's worth it that you come over to substack and do the free subscription because you'll at least be alerted when i start to enter trades now only the paid members will know which trades those are, but at least you as free subscribers will get that notification or can go to the newsletter itself and see those posts. All right, so I am going to, even though we're in the bearish market, I don't believe this is the long-term bear market. I believe things are gonna change in the beginning of January, as I've already alluded to. So I think we are nearing a bottom on almost all of these altcoins, as well as Bitcoin, and Ethereum, everything in the crypto space. Uh, my, what time supersedes right now, the pattern. I always talk about time, price, and pattern. In this case, time is the most important variable in factoring where our prices will go. All right, we see bear flags on all of these. I still think we're gonna come down a little bit further. ADA, same thing. We've got lots of support down here in this area, ZEC uh fighting with that neckline lots of volume underneath us i don't know if we'll come down but if we do we break all the way to that 200 day and that looks to be the way that one will play doji looking ugly i'm not going to say more on that one solana i had noted i have a uh, head and shoulders pattern mapped out here we have broken this neckline i think we're going down to 125 if you can believe that and that would be a great deal on that particular coin ancient t not loading for me i think i got some all right uh we're in the triangle on theta xprt coming down to some support here uh we could break the bottom of this triangle and head down here before coming up for those of you that care about that. Mainly the reason why I'm showing you all these coins is, is not because you're um, focusing on these particular coins, but just so that we can see a similar pattern playing out on all of them. OXT, I have a 
bare flag here. I have a head and shoulders over here. I've measured this and it looks like our target down could be $26. I'm not saying we'll get there because that does, we have a lot of support underneath us, the 200 day, this resistance, this trend line, which I've drawn up. Uh, so there is a lot of support, but my, my uh, target down is showing 26 cents. So be careful on that one. Uma, we are uh, at the bottom of our triangle, moving up right now, could hit our heads on that 200 day, come back down, test support again. And if we break that long way down, guys, so be careful on Uma as well. GRT, bear flag, head and shoulders pattern, target down is if you can believe this, $50, we could get there. We're going up, going to hit our resistance here, coinciding with the 200 day. That is strong resistance in a bear market. I wouldn't want to mess with that. Jasmine, as I said, we could come all the way back down to seven cents, six, seven cents. Uh, when I first called, uh, you know, over here, um, six, seven cents could come down there. All right. It's not impossible. BAT, all right. Although we are over this, uh, I want to say this, although we are over this major resistance, Remember, um, I've explained before, the more times we pass through these major, these significant uh, support slash resistance lines, depending on the side you're on, the more, the, the weaker it becomes. So it's, it's almost like you're taking an eraser. And as you go back and forth, you're cutting through that and you're erasing that, uh, the significance of that line. So if we break down again, which we could do, because this is definitely a bear flag, uh, look to, you know, look to buy down here somewhere on a support. And then uh, this resistance no longer becomes as significant, though it still will play some role in resisting upward movement. LTC, bear flag, hex. Somebody wanted me to do an update on hex. Let me just do that right here, right now. Hex still once we break out of this triangle here, could go up to our previous high at least. I would set that uh, target a little bit lower now that we have not broken out of that second top of the triangle. I think Hex could come down here to 11 cents. I know you're not supposed to trade this, but I've seen on CoinGecko there are some exchanges that allow you to trade it. Not sure how liquid they are, but if you wanted to trade this, you know, look for an entry down here at uh, 10, 10, 11 cents, or even way down here at six cents, and we go all the way to 50. That's a big target and therefore big risk, as you all know. The bigger the target, the bigger the risk. Um, all right, bear flag here on Filecoin coming down to support here at $33. Uh, could go lower, I guess. I haven't zoomed out, don't really feel like doing that right now. Another bear flag on BCH. Matic is looking strong. As I said yesterday, when we were over this, you don't want to enter this trade up here until you have confirmation. We didn't find confirmation yesterday. We sunk all the way back down to my previous support at 227. And I said that would be a better entry. Some of you more aggressive traders might have entered there and then you're doing well. What you want to do is take some profits off the top now, okay? Because we're coming back into resistance again. Again, I don't know if we're going to reach this target. That's fairly aggressive for this point. So you definitely want to take your profits right here, especially with what I'm seeing overall in the crypto space. Sand, haven't really done any analysis on this, but I see a level here. Could come down to, and I see a level down here. And it's potential, it's a possibility that we come all the way down to our level down here before proceeding further up, uh, before the end of December timeframe. All right, what else do I have here? Luna, again, I haven't done much technical analysis on this, but there's support right here. That's what I would look to, that's where I would look to enter if I was in this trade or wanted to get in this trade. And Mana, um, Hmm. All right. So we found support here. Looks like we're bouncing off that a little bit. Got some more support down here around this range. And 
more support. Let's see what looks to be the best. Ah, actually, right there looks to be a good support. And right here. So I would map these levels out, take a screenshot if you want. I wouldn't really enter until we got down to around the 50 day or just below. And we could come all the way down here to 250. All right. And I think that's it for my crypto uh, uh, role. And uh, so hopefully you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, as always, post those in the comments and I'll be glad to help you out. Have a good day, guys. Best of luck. Stay safe out there.